Hi viewers, time for a quick video review on the Garmin E-Trax 20 handheld GPS unit. So, this is the paper bag. Take the box out. Take a look at the box. Adventure rediscovered. Back of the box with a summary of all its functions. Okay, let's open the box. So inside a warranty card. You get a one year warranty from my dealer. And that's the uh, E-Trax 20 unit. So you get the GPS unit itself, uh, wrapped in plastic. A lanyard. Uh, it looks quite long. It's like a neck strap. USB cable and the quick start manual. Okay, now it's a closer look at the E-Trax 20. So it's a dark grey in color with orange brown highlights this is the front of the unit this is the back of the unit this is the USB connection and to open the battery compartment lift the D-ring then rotate it 90 degrees and lift the battery compartment cover and right inside is a micro SD slot let's start this up for the first time uh, put in the batteries uh, bits this Snaps right in. Let me get a cover. So, the line the plastic flange at the top of the cover. And rotate the D ring again to lock the cover down. And this way, and this is the on button. Hold it down to start the unit. And that's the menu screen. And use the mini joystick to make a selection. Okay, I'm going to scroll through all the options visible on the menu screen. There's map, where to, compass, mark waypoint, trip computer, setup, geocaches, waypoint manager, photo viewer, route planner, profile change, track manager, active route, calendar, Area calculation, sun and moon, calculator, hunt and fish, alarm clock, stopwatch, man overboard, waypoint averaging,
proximity alarms and satellite. So to enter one of the options, just uh, press in on the mini joystick. And now it's locating satellites. So this is the field test of the Garmin E-Trax 20. So as you can see here, we picked up a number of satellites. The E-Trax 20 can use a, a US GPS and the Russian GLONASS satellites. So it's a, we're completely surrounded by trees in this jungle trail. But we are able to pick up a number of satellites fairly quickly. So now a quick demonstration of its function. Uh, it's a trail marker here. And going to mark a waypoint right here. As you can see, it uh, indicates my speed. Uh, the sunlight readable screen is okay, but it's slightly reflective. Alright, so it's time to find my way back. So I select where to. And the waypoint. So if I go to the compass, it will give me a direction bearing. So we'll just follow that back to the marker. Okay, just a beep to tell me that I've arrived, and market's just right up ahead. And that's the marker right there. So that concludes my review of the Garmin E-Trax 20.